Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about echocardiographic windows and views. Let's start with the basics. What is an acoustic window? A window is the place where we put the probe on the patient. Acoustic windows are named for the location of the probe on the chest walls. The echocardiographic windows are parasternal, apical, subcostal, and suprasternal. These windows allow us to see the heart from multiple anatomic positions. Each window comes with the corresponding views. So basically a window is the place where we put the probe and the views are the different images we can obtain from that position. Normally in echocardiography we start with the parasternal views and these ones are obtained from the parasternal window. The parasternal views are divided in two. Parasternal long axis views and parasternal short axis views. This is a diagram showing you how you can obtain these parasternal long axis views. And for this, you have to place the probe on the parasternal window. To be able to obtain any of these images, you have to angulate the probe or rotate it in a specific way. On the same parasternal window, you can obtain the parasternal short axis views. And as I said before, all depends on the angulation or rotation you give to the probe. The apical views are obtained from the apical window. And from this window, we can visualize the apical four chamber view, apical 5 chamber view, apical 2 chamber view, and apical 3 chamber view. So let's have a look at the views and how to obtain them. First, you have to place the probe on the apical window and with simple movements you can obtain the apical views. Subcostal views are obtained from the subcostal window. However, in this video I'm going to show you just the classic subcostal view. I mention this because with little twists and angulation of the probe, you can basically obtain every single view already discussed. For example, from the subcostal window you can obtain apical four chamber view, five chamber view and even short axis views. These extra views are not mandatory, however, they are very handy when you don't have access to the other windows. So here we can see the two classic subcostal views obtained from the subcostal window. And finally, the suprasternal view is obtained from the suprasternal window. And this is our suprasternal view obtained from the suprasternal window. This video is for you to understand the difference between windows and views. Also, is for you to have an idea of the echocardiographic structure. In upcoming videos, I'm going to demonstrate how to angulate or tilt the probe to obtain every single view. I really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!